We study words in literature, in school, in temples, in shrines, in churches, in mosques, in synagogues, on mountain tops, in villages, everywhere, every aspect of our lives is lived with words. But in the attempt to sound woke and funny and clever and provocative and controversial and sensational, politicians and professors and preachers and parents and leaders and kings and monarchs and mentors and students and soldiers and entertainers, including you and I, have all abused the power of words. We have all forgotten that the world was built with words. And words, phrased correctly, can men broken hearts, can heal broken homes and nations. We must try words like, sorry, please, forgive me, I love you, honesty, you know. It's easier said than done, as they say, words.